It's one of cricket's greatest fairy tales. From relative obscurity to a newfound love for the game, Afghanistan's rise has been simply remarkable. The last 10 years have seen the national side play in four ICC World 2020s and feature in an ICC Cricket World Cup as well. He's picked him up leg side. Those are the winning runs. Shapur is the hero for Afghanistan. Many of their stars have now become household names across the cricketing world. But while there's a huge upswing as far as international cricket is concerned, the reality on the ground in Afghanistan is still a cause for concern. The region is still marred by political instability and conflict, and many youngsters here don't have access to basic education. But in the midst of all the adversity, there is a ray of hope. Following her travels to Afghanistan as a doctor during the Soviet regime, Sarah Fain set up Afghan Connection, a charity which aims to bring people together through education and sport. Afghanistan's now had some sort of conflict in the country for some 40 years and I feel that education and sport are tremendous ways to create social change in the country. Particularly education for girls is transforming things in Afghanistan. So we educate boys and girls but we're very keen to help the girls. Also the sport is a magnificent thing. The, the slogan for all our cricket projects is put down your guns and pick up your bats. There are children all over Afghanistan who long to play cricket. They're inspired by the national team. Uh, the national team brings everybody out on the streets together. Cricket crosses all ethnic divides and we get children together from all different ethnic groups playing cricket. Also the spirit of cricket and the way it's played provides wonderful team spirit and really helps us to create social change in Afghanistan. Whether it's building pitches, schools, supplying equipment, or providing coaching to the next generation, the positives are aplenty. Since 2008, close to 100 pitches have been built in the country, and over 100 schools now benefit from clothing and kit as well. When we get a picture or I visit a new school, it's the most wonderful feeling in the world to see that children have come off the dusty ground and they're in beautiful classrooms or when I visit a cricket pitch and see the absolute joy on the faces of the children, it's really inspirational and it makes every moment of our work worthwhile. Sarah Fain and Afghan Connection are not batting alone for this noble cause. The MCC is a key partner, and through these collective efforts, cricket development in Afghanistan is only going from strength to strength. Our involvement has encouraged other private donors to come in alongside the MCC and actually uh, massively increase the support that Afghan Connection ha has got. So uh, one of our aims here at the MCC is to, is to get involved and create sustainability in projects around the world. It was extraordinary in one of my visits to Afghanistan seeing that actually just a pair of shoes to an Afghan child can be a, can, can be a life-changing life thing. So um, through encouraging sport and enabling equipment and games and structure and team and leadership and values, um, all those things sit alongside education. I think together they make a, a pretty compelling partnership. Cricket has not only united many in Afghanistan, but it's also played a huge role in giving youngsters a new lease of life. The shock and horror of war is slowly being replaced by the sweet sound of willow and leather. And as far as a road ahead is concerned, the MCC and Afghan Connection are gearing up for a long stay at the crease. To see the difference that sport can make and to see the heroic status that the young men and women who play cricket for Afghanistan have achieved and the influence and impact they're having um, throughout the country on young children, young boys and girls, uh, makes everything we've done out there worthwhile. I'm passionate about Afghanistan. I have got to know so many of its people. When I travel there, 
I see the people I've known over the years and what I most want is for them to know what it's like to live in a peaceful and prosperous country. I know I can't do this on my own but I just want to see the regions we're working in, I want to see every child going to school and I want our model to be copied all over Afghanistan and I want every child to have the opportunity to play sport.